The two other tonic reflexes, tonic labyrinthine supine and tonic labyrinthine prone. Let's talk about tonic labyrinthine supine. Starting position, supine lying position and the head in the midline. The stimulus is the supine lying position itself. Uh, if we put a child or an infant less than six months in this position, the extensor tone will dominate on his uh, limbs. Okay, uh, and if you would, would like to apply a passive movement for his limb, we will find that extensor tone is increased more than the flexor tone. As other tonic reflexes, this reflex has to be uh, disappeared at the age of four up to six months. If this reflex still presents or the resistance of this reflex, this may hinder some functions like uh, when the infant would like to turn over or would like to roll to other side, he has to flex one limb and extend the other uh, so he can't do this dissociative movement and this will hinder him uh, from the ability to roll over. So this reflex may hinder the rolling function. Also the setting, if the infant or the child that have this reflex is still released after the, uh, its normal age, uh, this will hinder him from the ability to get to set. As get to setting uh, requires him to flex over his elbow and flex his trunk. The extensor tone is still dominated and this will hinder him from the ability to get to set.